Welcome to PurpleChimp.com. This video will help you navigate the Create section of the website. Here you will find all the tools to help you create your masterpiece. So let's get started. First we need to locate the Create button at the top of your screen. Click on the Create button and it will take you to the program where you will be able to create your design. You'll find on the left hand side of the page is your working area and the right hand side contains all the items that you need to create your picture. We have pictures where you can locate pictures on your computer, clip art available, frames, and words. All these items you can use to create your picture. I'm going to start by getting a frame. You simply click on the word frames and a window pops up showing you a variety of images that are available to you. I'm going to start with a letter frame and simply click on that letter and then on the words load frame. Now it's in your working area. You'll see a box in the lower right hand corner. This box allows you to change the size and proportions of your frame. The same thing happens with your clip art and your pictures where you can change the size and proportions of your images. Now that I've got my frame, I'd like to get a picture from my computer. I will click on the word picture and then find my picture. You'll see a window has opened up to your computer where you can locate your very own photos. Simply click on the photo and then click on the word open. Now your photo is in your working area. I'm going to scale this to fit within the proportions of my frame. Now I'd like my frame to be in front so I have a couple of options. One of them is to send my photo to the back by changing the layer. I can change that to zero and send it to the back. Or I can simply click on the frame bringing it to the front. Now I'm going to move it just a bit there. Perfect. Now I've used a frame and a photograph. I'd like to add some clip art so you want to go to the clip art button and click there. Here you'll find a variety of items that you can add to your picture. I'm going to choose a flower. You simply click on the image and then go to load clip art. We'll bring that to size to fit my total picture. Again, just grabbing the corner and bringing it down to size and then I can move it here. Well that looks good. I think perhaps I'd rather have a different color flower. So we'll click on that flower and on the right hand side of the screen you will find the words delete picture. Click on that and it's gone. Now I can pick a different color flower. We'll do the orange one. Click on that and again load clip art. I'm going to fit it to my design, place it where I'd like. There. Now I have a frame, a photo, clip art, and I'd like to add words. So we'll go to the tab button that says words. Here you'll find a box that you can type in. Click in the box and type your words. Now below that box you will find different typefaces, different sizes, and different colors. I'm going to start by changing my typeface, selecting that one. Then I'm going to change my size. I'd like it pretty big, so we'll go down to the end and we'll make it much larger. Then I'll choose my color and I'm going to choose pink. There. Now I like my words and I just click on the button, add my words. Now I can move this right where I'd like it. Perfect. Now, I think I spelled my name wrong. I think I better go back and fix that. So I click on the word, then I go to the bottom of the right hand side and I will click in the box and I will backspace and type it again. 
There, now I spelled it right. I think I'd like to change my typeface and I, I'll keep my colors and my size the same. Then I go to the box that says Update Words. Now if you'd like to start all over and do something different, you can go to your Delete Words. But I'm happy with what I have, so I've updated them. Now I'm going to take and just move it a little bit, and perfect. I'm done. I've created my masterpiece. If you want to start over, you simply go back to the top of the page and click on Create Your Design. That will clear your screen and you can start over. If you're happy with what you have, like I am, I want to print it. First you want to print on plain paper. So you go to your print button and click print in the middle of the screen. This will open your printer's window where you can change your preferences to match the Purple Chimp product that you have decided to use. Once you've printed it, you can make sure everything's okay, then you go back again and click print to print it on your Purple Chimp inkjet printer product. We hope this video showed you everything you need to create your special project. If you need more help, please feel free to click on the Ask the Expert button for personalized assistance. Thank you for visiting purplechimp.com and we hope you find yourself creating many masterpieces for yourself and to share with friends.